Paleo in downtown D.C. is where chef and humanitarian Jose Andres began to build his life in the U.S. 30 years ago. For me, obviously, Jaleo and 7th and E was a place that became home. I was looking for a place to belong. Washington became that place. As a 23-year-old uh, young chef, that technically I was ill-prepared <laughs> to even be a chef, but I was always very well supported by amazing people. Haleo became a restaurant for generations of families, local diners, and visitors. Uh, so many people I found through the years that they told me that they had the first croqueta, like a celebration in Haleo when they were one or two or three years old. And now it's people that they are 30 and married and with children, and they are taking the children to eat croquetas. It's fascinating. So those stories are what obviously makes, makes the DNA of a city. That capital city DNA energized Andres. He loved being surrounded by culture, history, and diversity. And at the end, what people like me, we do is obviously be bridges. And I've been a bridge all my life, uh, telling America about Spain, and then telling Spain and the rest of the world about America. I think that's what people like us, we do. When they ask me, where are you from? I'm like, I belong to many places. I know where I came from, and I'm very proud of it, but also I know where I belong. Andres won't take credit for introducing tapas to Americans, but the chef has greatly influenced the way Americans eat. I, I would say that Haleo was a restaurant more than anyone that bet on small dishes, on the sharing. And I always began telling everybody, listen, tapas is a way of life. Uh, if you want to share, put it in the middle. If you don't want to share, bring it 20 inches towards you and put the fork and knife and that's it. You can enjoy Spanish food in the same way. For all the opportunities offered to him throughout his career, Andres has always wanted to give back. His experience volunteering at DC Central Kitchen inspired his future philanthropic work. At the end, what I saw thanks to Haleo, uh, when we will bring many of the students that will be graduating out of DC Central Kitchen and show them what the restaurant looks like, so one day they will be hired by the restaurants if they wanted to apply. Was the sense that a restaurant is a very powerful entity that can create better communities, that can create a sense of the DNA, uh, where the melting pot nowhere is more real than America. And I think that's something that needs to be celebrated because the richness of cultures is richness of of people. Andres's World Central Kitchen has provided more than 300 million meals worldwide, and globally he owns and operates more than 35 restaurants. Still, his work is far from over. That has given me the opportunity not only now, let's, let's do what I know with the culture I grew up and I, where I was born, but let's also share with others what I've been learning from all the cultures that I I got to know closely over the years, and he's given me the opportunity to keep telling other stories. So that's what I guess is what will happen in the next 30 years. Hey, if you're interested, you can still buy tickets to the Tapas Crawl on the Haleo website.